Now the main topic after modeling is UV editing. UV editing is essentially the process of UV mapping. Let's first understand what it is. UV mapping is a 2D representation of a 3D model surface. You cut a 3D model, unwrap it to make it flat for texturing, and then wrap it back onto the 3D object. This process is called UV unwrapping. It's called UV mapping and unwrapping, all right? To understand it better, you need to consider a few things first. What are seams? You need to understand what marking seams looks like. What is clearing a seam? How do cuts work? What are these cuts? I'm going to explain all these things. This session may be long but will be very useful for you. If you want to do UV editing in Blender or design professional games, UV mapping is very important for you. So what will you do? First, you'll notice that in Blender we have a cube here. This is the kind of object you'll see. So what happens if I split it from here? As I mentioned in the time menu, we have many options, and we'll discuss them now. When you open UV editing, it resembles the image editor. And that's true, but there's one difference. In edit mode, if your model is selected, you'll see a 2D surface of it. This is the basics of UV mapping. UV editing works fine when we add a new object in Blender. For example, if I add a cube again, whenever you add an object, you get a time menu or basically an operator that asks whether to generate its UVs or not. You have options to generate UVs or not. If I don't, you'll see no UVs are generated here. But by default, basic shapes like cubes have their UVs automatically generated. You can see it that way. This process is automatic. If you need to cut or unwrap an object for UV editing, how do you do it? What steps do you take? First, select the cube and go to the Object Data Properties to find the UV Map section. Here, you can create a UV Map and see the list of UV Maps. You can create multiple UV Maps for the same object or delete them from here. If no UV Map is visible, you'll need to cut the object. What should you consider before cutting? Look carefully. Go to the Edges section. If this is a box and you're told to open it, how would you cut it? If I were to do it, what would I do? I'd apply one cut here, but now I've selected this edge. How do I apply the cut? What do I do? Right-click, and you'll see options appear. Mark seam means you're telling Blender where to apply the seam or cut. The cut should be made where the seam is applied. Once I click Mark seam, you'll see it here. A red zone appears. This indicates that Blender will cut the object along this seam for you. It won't open automatically, but the cut is set for UV editing. I'll apply a second cut here and a third cut here. Before applying more cuts, let me explain. If I don't want this seam, I right-click and select Clear Seam. What happens if we don't apply seams? If we unwrap directly without seams, you'll see the result in the UV editor. Press 3 to enter face mode. Press A to select all faces, then press U. A dialog box for UV mapping opens, showing different types of UV unwrapping methods. You can use Smart UV Projection, Light Map, Follow Active Quads, Cube Projection, Cylinder Projection, Spherical Projection, and other methods. You'll see all options here. For now, click Unwrap directly. Once I unwrap it, you'll see it has unwrapped like this. This shows the UV layout. If I show you closely, selecting a face here highlights this face, and this is that face. All faces have been unwrapped separately. This isn't bad, but the issue is that when you apply a texture, the texture may show seams and look broken. The edges won't align properly. To avoid this, we use seams. So what kind of seams do we use? I'll explain again. If we unwrap directly, we get something like this. If you select the object and view it in UV editing, you may want other objects to be visible too. Enable Shrink to see them. You can see objects without selecting them. You can also select faces from here or identify which face this is. This setup works fine. Now we'll unwrap with seams. I'll right-click here, mark a seam, and apply it like this. Have I explained what a seam is? Now I'll add more seams. I'll cut here and here. 
Why these cuts? Let me explain. Right-click Mark Seam. It will cut here and here. This area will open like this, unfolding from the back, right? Now that I've set this, it will open from here, so we need to cut this part too. Select it, right-click, Mark Seam, and ensure we cut this and this part too. Select both, right-click, and Mark Seam. Now it will open from here, cut here, and unfold completely from here to here. Once I mark it, select All, press U, and unwrap. You'll see the UV has unwrapped perfectly as intended. Look, I'll select this to show this is our part. This is the top part. Now open. This is that part. We didn't add a seam here, so these three faces joined together. These three faces also joined, with no seam applied here. This part is in the middle and this one is below because we unwrapped it from here. This part has moved down because it opened this way. Like this, the bottom part has opened, and this part is here. So we've perfectly unwrapped the cube, which was our goal. This helps you understand seams. Let's look at more examples of seams. I'll delete this cube for now as we don't need it. Let's use a cylinder and not generate UVs since we'll cut it ourselves. In edit mode for the cylinder, press A, then U. It looks improper like this, because applying a texture here won't align properly. So, what do we do? First, visualize what needs to be different. If we want parts together, press U. Select these edges. Double-click this edge and this edge. These edges will separate the parts. Right-click and mark seam. We've cut these two. Now one more thing. When these parts separate, the middle part may distort. But we don't want that. What do we do? We cut it in the middle, right-click, mark seam, and do it here. Press A, press U to unwrap, and see this part. It has unwrapped perfectly, with other parts separated. It's perfectly unwrapped here. You can see it now. Everything has worked perfectly. I hope you've understood the seam concept. Let me show you seams with another object. Let's bring in another object, for example. If I need to cut this, what do I do first? I'll unwrap it from UV editing. I select it. I'll make one cut here in the middle, that's fine. I'll make one cut here and another cut here. Right click and mark seam. Now it will unwrap perfectly. You need to see how it cuts. I placed a cut here, here, and here. Why? Because cutting here opens it like this, and cutting here opens it from both sides. This is the concept of marking seams. That's how you apply basic seams. I'll explain more about marking seams later. We'll discuss this in the next chapter. We'll also cover texturing, seams, and unwrapping models we've created. For now, that's all for this lesson. You've learned how the concept of marking seams works. That's all for this lesson. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye, take care, stay home and love you all.